Hey there, welcome back to My Green Pets. Well, if you were here last week, you will remember that I posted a poll asking you if you thought I should take this plant to judging. And 80% of the people who responded said, yes, take it. So that's what we're doing. This plant is packed up, uh, seat belted in, and we are making the trip to the judging center. Every month, American Orchid Society judges assemble here to evaluate plants that are brought in by anybody and uh, they assign point values to the plants to see if they are worthy of receiving an award. So we're going to leave my plant there and while the judges are meticulously measuring and examining the flowers, I'm going to relax and take a, a little stroll over to the main part of the Missouri Botanical Garden to enjoy this beautiful space. Here's a massive, beautiful ginkgo tree. I'd really like to have a ginkgo tree. It's something about how ancient they are is just kind of inspiring when I see them. All right, I'm gonna give you guys some information about the Climatron from the Missouri Botanical Gardens website in my best documentary voice. The Climatron is the first geodesic dome to be used as a conservatory. It opened to the public on October 1st, 1960. In 1976, it was named one of the 100 most significant architectural achievements in United States history. The term Climatron was coined to emphasize the climate control technology of the greenhouse dome. The Climatron has no interior support and no columns from floor to ceiling, allowing more light and space per square foot for plants than conventional designs. It rises 70 feet in the center, spans 175 feet in diameter at the base, has 1.3 million cubic feet, and encloses approximately 24,000 square feet, or more than half an acre. Man, that's difficult. I need a little bit more practice at that. All right, well, let's enjoy a trip around the Climatron and some of the beautiful plants that are in there. I find that many orchid growers also grow these tropical pitcher plants, these nepenthes, because they kind of have similar cultural conditions and they are really spectacular. This exhibit was really interesting. Some of you might recognize this is rice. This is how rice grows in the water like this. And the little information card said that rice, rice feeds half the world's population. Pretty amazing. Here's a baby Nepenthes pitcher that hasn't quite developed yet. The variety of plants in the Climatron is really amazing. If you have a chance to make it over there, you should definitely stop by. One more thing on display at the Missouri Botanical Garden right now is their Titan Arum, Amorphophallus titanum, is getting ready to bloom. Now the sign says that this thing is going to be almost 10 feet tall when it blooms, so I might be making a special trip up to see when it does. Okay, the question on everybody's mind, what happened with the judging? Well, when I got back to the judging center, I walked in and I was greeted by a standing ovation from the judges. I kid you not, they were all clapping. My plant won a, uh, an award of merit. It was an 87 point award of merit, only three points from an FCC. I could not believe it. They said it was the largest prime child um, that has been awarded. Uh, in their database and uh, they just they couldn't say enough about it so that means I owe those of you who said yes take that plant get it judged 
I owe you guys a uh, thank you because I was really not sure if I was going to even take it up there. The whole process made me really nervous, you know, being judged and criticized by other people is not anybody's favorite thing to do, but it turned out great. So I want to say thank you guys so much. And with that, it looks like I am out of footage, which means it's time for this week's episode to come to an end. Thanks once again for everyone's support, and we'll see you right here next time on My Green Pets.